Hey guys, welcome to another AVA Rigs where we'll be checking out this cool O11. All right, let's jump right into it. So first off, the big thing of this is, as classic, the Lee and Lee O11 dynamic. Super great case, talked about it plenty. Everyone at this point pretty much knows about how awesome this case is. It's a decent price point, got a lot of great features, and it's got a lot of tempered glass on it. Now, at the base of this system is an i7-12700KF. We've talked about this a bunch, but it's a K version, overclockable, and F, no integrated graphics. So if you do have problems with graphics, you do need a spare graphics card, or just overall have a good graphics card that you know works. As for the motherboard, we have the ASUS Tough Gaming Z690 Wi-Fi. Um, Built-in Wi-Fi is fantastic. I'm personal preference towards Ethernet just because it's a lot more stable and you get better ping. But some people need Wi-Fi and it's great that they just added it into the motherboard. Now, moving on to the other major parts of the system, let's look at the memory. In this particular one, we have some Kingston Fury Beast. Super solid memory. This particular kit's DDR4-3200, so not quite as speedy as some of our DDR5 kits, but a super solid kit nonetheless. Uh, it's 32 gigs, so plenty enough for doing whatever, gaming, editing, a little bit of extra, anything that you need RAM for, maybe 500 Chrome tabs, that could be a few. As for graphics, we have an RTX 3070 Ventus from MSI. Super solid cards, though they do look kind of weird with the cooler sticking out the end. They are still great for performance wise, and they come in at a decent price point, and they're not as expensive as some stuff like the Strix and other super expensive cards. As for cooling on this one, as you can see, we have the EK Elite AIO branded with our AVA Direct logo on it. Um, super solid cooler, runs six fans, all RGB, so nice little bonus to add in since you're getting a great cooler with some RGB fans. And as for power, running the whole thing is an EVGA 850G2. Super solid power supplies, have had zero issues with them. They run everything perfectly and they have enough for a little bit of overclocking on most general components. As for storage, this particular system has a one terabyte Western Digital Blue, so no NVMe in this particular case, which kind of sucks, but you know, sometimes people just want a hard drive space or they'll add their own. As well as you can see, kind of tucked around the edges here a little bit is the Corsair Lighting Note Pro, super great RGB strips that work well with IQ. So if you have any of the Corsair fans like those beautiful QL 120s on the side there, it's all compatible and you can make it all the same colors, run everything through one software, super easy to use. Thanks for watching. It's another great video. Like, comment, subscribe. Please tell us what you want to see. We want more ideas. We love to hear from you guys. And as always, check out our website, check out all the cool PCs and all of our other social media. You know, you're here on YouTube, but you know, check out our Instagram. It's super cool there. If you like the PC in this video, be sure to contact our sales team at sales at avadirect.com or you can head over to our website by clicking on the link in the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use our configurator to build a PC of your dreams. Be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe, and don't forget to follow our social media channels at avadirect.com.